Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we are back to Cross Set. So, <laughs> I spent an extra 30 minutes uh, last recording doing this puzzle. And then I did it off screen for another 30 minutes after realizing I just totally ruined it. Now I've gotten it down to this point, And I hope I've done this all correct. Otherwise, we are back to a horrible position and I guess I probably would just stop the recording and never air this uh, so I like the previous time really did have to go up and down and up and down and up and down all the columns and then right and left right and left on all of the rows just looking making sure what I could eliminate to get to this point and now I think we can do this. So this three here, for instance, we know is not right. This five could be a five, but it can't be a six. So six eliminates the six option. Three eliminates the three option, making this five, which then changes this. It can't be five now. It can't be seven. So it has to be a three. And we solved it. <sighs> and so that took about an hour to do that puzzle. Very large jump in difficulty. And now we're starting with level 3 and we've got a pretty simple puzzle here. Probably won't take too much effort. We can eliminate the 4 immediately. We can eliminate this 3. We can say... What else? There needs to be a 1 and a 2 in this row. So this has to be 2. Which makes this one, which eliminates that one, and makes this one. So now we just have nine squares. It's going to be quite quick. Now the the slight problem though is in playing two eight, it's already late in this recording session. Today was a off day when I recorded my blog hearthstone and so i had to spend several hours doing that i decided to take a break and work on something non-youtube related uh for a little bit after that so now it's probably a good time to to give up and yet i'm not giving up i'm starting another s series of recordings and we'll see how well this works so this one for instance here can't be that that so that makes that four and this means we need a two in this row so that makes that two and that makes that one okay and do we need a two here either one of these could be two and we need a three here either one of those could be three we need a one here and that means this has to be one because this can't be one which means this has to be four and now we've got a nice little checker pattern here where, well, this is a, not a checker pattern. Actually, it's, I guess you'd call it that a cross pattern. Uh, only four remaining things. We need a two in this row. There's only one two. And so that makes that three. That eliminates that and that. So that makes that two. And that means this solves. And see, that only took like... A couple of minutes it, it went from literally nearly an hour and 20 minutes to do a puzzle to barely five minutes to do a puzzle and that is not a difficulty spike that's what I guess I would call a difficulty avalanche uh, just the game getting too easy too fast there's only one four in this row so double check that that's true um, is there only one one let's just start at the beginning how many ones are there multiple ones how many twos multiple twos how many threes only one three um, how many fours multiple fours how many ones here multiple ones how many twos there's multiple twos how many threes multiple threes how many ones are in this? We have multiple ones here. How many twos? Multiple twos. And 
and how many threes? Three there, three there, three there, and three there. And how many fours? Hmm. Two fours right here. Alright, moving on to the next thing. How many ones are in this row? Just one. So that has to be one. How many twos? Well, there's two twos. How many threes? There's two threes. And how many fours? There's three fours. So now we can work our way down this way. How many ones? There's only one one here. Hmm. How many twos? Multiple twos. How many threes? Only one three. So that fixes that. How many ones here? There's only one remaining. How many twos? And how many threes? Only one three. That makes that like that. Next, how many twos are there? There's only one two left. And then how many fours? Only one four left. How many ones here? Multiple ones. How many twos? Multiple twos. How many threes? Multiple threes. And how many fours? Can't be a four here, so this has to be four. Which also means this is two. Which also means this is four. Which also means this is one. And now we are simply needing to change that number, I figure. And again, very easy and quick, and yet I feel like the difficulty might slowly, well, might increase a little bit faster each time we go to a different chapter. So chapter one was probably a very good progression of, of difficulty just gradually getting larger and larger. And then it eventually got down. Uh, now it seems like even on the third puzzle we've hit something that's moderately difficult. Let's see. There's only one in this column. Which means I can bump those ones immediately. Uh, there's only a two here in this column too. And there's only one four. So we can do that also. And that means I can bump this four and make that a three immediately. Means I can also bump this three. Hmm. Making up some terminology here. I need a three and a five, and either one of those could be three or five, so that's gonna be a while for that. And let's see, we need one one and we need one two, so that's two, which bumps that to make that a four. It bumps that to make it a three, one, four. This is three actually, because it can't be four, two, which means it bumps this three, this four, and the two behind it. So one is the only option, making that five, which bumps that. And bumps that. Hmm. Now, this five can't be here because of that, making that three, making that five, which bumps that. Hmm. We've got this right side completed now. Let's see. Three, but five and one are still options. This can't be one because there's one here. So, twos, there's only one two left, and then we need a three, which makes that three, then we need a four. And we could have locked in that four earlier because of the one. Bump this two, bump this two. Hmm. Bump this four and lock it into a two, which then bumps this two. And so four and one are the only one in this row. So that makes that row one, that makes that four. Bumps that one. So one here and five here. We won't find that solution for a while. And this one and this five, well this one can't be a one so it has to be five which makes this a four, 
which makes this a two. That makes this one, which makes that three, which makes that five. And now we just have to change, I believe, this once. Hmm. And we're just breezing through it again. That took a little bit of effort, but not anywhere as much as I should. Uh, here's an interesting question. We have four, four, a four, four, and four. Does that inform us in any way if all of them can be four? Only, I guess, in the fact that we probably shouldn't bother to look at this row. <laughs> uh, let's start with something simpler. One, no, two, no, three, no, four. There's, I believe, only one four in this row, which then knocks that out of the way. And right now, five. There's two options on five, and we're not up to sixes yet, so let's try this now. Ones, there's multiple ones, twos, there's multiple twos, threes, there's multiple threes, fours, there's two fours, and then fives. Hmm. There's no fives. Uh, well, there's multiple fives one next row there's one one here and one one there that doesn't work too multiple twos three there's a three here and a three there four multiple fours seems like this puzzle is all around the number four and i would be surprised if there's very few squares that actually don't have a four in it let's move on one multiple ones twos multiple twos threes multiple threes fours of course multiple fours and five this one only has one five on this row and we already kind of looked here so we can just double check are there multiple ones yes are there multiple twos yes are there multiple threes yes are there multiple fours of course and are there multiple fives? Well, there can't be a five here, but there can be a five here and a five here. So that's the rows. Now let's start looking at the columns. Ones, same multiples. Ones, no. Two, no. Three, no. Four, no. And five, no. One, there is only one here, so that bumps that. Two. Now we can have a two here or a two here. And three. Could be a three here or there or there. And four. We've already done five. Could be a five or there or there. Moving on. Ones, no twos no threes no fours no and five already done one no two no three no four hmm, no and five no one here and one there no twos nos uh, two, no, three, though. Let's look real carefully here. Yes, there's only one three. That bumps that, and then that means this can't be a five because of this, and it can't be a three because of that, so it has to be two. So that helps, too. That means we just need a one and a five now, and of the five options, there's only this, and that makes that one. Bump that one while oh, we're at it. Good question, though, is where were we? I guess we were here. Five. Do we have another five? No. So that's five, which helps a little bit. We were doing columns and 
Should we do columns again or should we do rows? Because if I look at this row, it doesn't really help. And if I look at this row, it doesn't really help. And if I look at this row, it doesn't really help. So I think we probably should just do columns again. Um, on something that's changed. Like this 5 here doesn't really change any. Well, wait. This 1 means this can't be 1. Which means then there is only one 1 there that uh, this two now is the only two available which bumps that and that locking in both of those uh, which then also bumps this to a two and locks this as a one which then bumps that and bumps that hmm. Moving on, we have a 4, a 5, and a 3, so the only option here can be 3, making this 4. And so we're closing in on the puzzle. Hmm. Let's see, where should we start now? Let's just do columns. We need a 2. A 2 can't be here, so it has to be here. And then we need a 3 that could be here or there. And a 5 that could be here or there, so we don't know. Uh, moving on, we need a 1. 1 can't be here. Can't be here because of that. The other one can't be there because of that. Meaning this has to be 1. That then also locks us down to 4. So... This can't be a 2 because of that. Can't be a 1 because of that. This has to be a 3. 3 bumps this to being a 5 and locks that to being a 2. And then that means this is 5 because of this column. And this is 4. And that solves the puzzle. And we move forward again. And I'm glad to see some progress here, but I think it's only going to get more and more difficult. The beginning of these things are going to start to really hammer on us. Like, this row here is only has one. And then, are there actually any other twos? No, I don't think so. And then three, who knows. And then four is only in a couple, well, it's in three places. But then five has to be this. And then this has to be six because that's the only six. So we've started down the process bump this to the locket to a one bump this to bump this to the locket to a four bump that four bump this one and lock it as a five uh, bump this five to lock it as a four bump this four and lock it as a three bump this four and lock it as a two because it can't be four or one which then this leaves only six remaining and so we are smoothly progressing here easier than it probably should have been uh, I, I got lucky in other words hmm. let's see five gets bumped five gets bumped it's three and five get bumped on this one two and four get bumped four and six would get bumped two would get bumped and one and six would get bumped this one means that this has to be three which means one and three can't be used which makes that a two so we now have a four that we need which has to be that a five and let's see hmm how do we want to play this now? Let's see. We need a 1, which could be any of those three. We need a 2, which can only be this because there aren't any other 2s. Bump that one. And this 2 can't be a 2, so it's now a 4, which bumps that one. So it can't be 2 or 4, which makes that 6, which bumps that and locks that in also. 
and then that also means that this five was bumped already by this so that's a one We have a one we need, a four we need, which makes that four, and then five and one on these two. We won't find a solution for that for a while. Three can't be right, four can't be right, which makes it six, which bumps that. And because it can't be six because of this, and it can't be five because of this, this is one, which then bumps this. And let's see, two is still good, but one and six are not, so that is two, which makes that three. Bump that. Uh, moving on, I suppose. What's this column? One, two, th three, four, we need a five, which bounces that out. Hmm. This can't be six, so it has to be three. A five and a one here could be either way. We need a six on this row, so this has to be six, and this has to be, has to be two. Hmm. So that bumps this. So it can't be six, and it can't be four because of the four here and the six here, so that makes this one, which bumps that to five, which bumps that to one, which bumps that to a five. Hmm. This now gets solved for six, so it was already in the right place. And it really just becomes a question, is this three? And it looks like it is three. Is this three? No, it's four. So moving forward to the next level, will we actually be able to catch up here and do all of chapter three in one recording? Maybe, but unlikely. It's still a little too difficult here. This one uh, includes, excludes another. Uh, this help here might prove itself to be very beneficial, but this one's not gonna work. And let's see. That one's not gonna work. Hmm. Three. Nope. Six. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Let's let's put some some planning into this. We need a f two in this combination and we need a six. So this has to be six and this has to be two. Okay. So that gets this row then. Let's now let's see. A full column like this probably not going to help us too much it, as I try to look here. I kind of wish I could do more of this subconsciously. Doing two digits and three digits, uh, a lot of that math probably could be done subconsciously, but here not so much. I'm noticing that on this column you need a five. The five here is blocked off, and there's no fives here, so this has to be five. Uh, but doing the math this way and just sitting in silence as you're doing the math is a little bit beyond me. One here, two here, three. Nope, multiples of threes, fours. Uh, let's see, fours. There can't be a four here. So there could be a four here and a four there. And then five. There can't be a five here, so we know that's a three, which that helps. Um, so this five, or this five, and then six could be here or here, so nope, no, nothing useful here. 
There's a one that can go here and a one that can't go here because of this and a one that can't go here because of this. So just one there and then let's see two we have two twos three twos can't actually can't be a two here this actually can only be four because of the one here and the two here excluding that which then puts this right at six that helps five now this could be five and this could be five six can be here is there another six nope so that has to be six moving on two there's a two here there's a two here and there's a two here so that's no good three there's a three here a three here and a three here that's no good four four here four four can't be here four there four there five it's already been done six hmm, there's two sixes there so can't find anything in that column one can't be done because of this and this so looking for two two could be here or here a three three could be here and not here and not here so this has to be three and so four and then five five could be either one of these so it could be two or five between these two and that's it for the columns let's start going for the rows again we're looking for a two which any of those could be a two we're looking for a four which this can't be a four so this has to be a four uh, we're looking for a six hmm. let's see there can't be a six here so this has to be six uh, for multiple reasons there can't be a six there all right moving on two on this one could be any of them four on these this can't be four but either one of those could be and then five five means this is five which means two could still be either one of these and four could still be either one of those not as helpful as I thought that was gonna be next row let's see two could be here and I do believe that's the only option there's no two here and no two here and then we need a three which could be either one of these and we need a six which just can't be six so this has to be three and this has to be six so hmm. I'm looking here and just looking at this column to see if I could possibly solve this like this needs a four and there, there's only one four so that has to be four which then locks that down to two All right. and this now needs a two and th that means that's two bump this and that means that's one and hopefully I haven't gotten too big for my britches to use a colloquialism and uh, and made a mistake here because if I've made a mistake then that's gonna be a nightmare this five excludes this this two excludes this making this one now that also makes this six all right we need a three and a four and that doesn't seem like that's gonna help any there's a one and a two in this row making this five which gets rid of that that so we could be three or four here and three or four here this needs a two so that helps with that this needs a four and a five 
which means this is five. This needs a two and a three. So this four actually was blocked because of that and that. And unless I've made a mistake, this should be close to the solution. And I've made a mistake. Nope, I didn't make a mistake. I was I thought I did for a second there. But no, I got lucky. Got, got really lucky there. I thought I'd really made a mistake. And so we've done six of chapter three and we've unlocked chapter four. And I suppose technically doing uh, all of chapter four puts us at the halfway mark and see this game feels like it could be really short but now that I start to look at it and consider it it's more of a case of the game actually being like three four maybe five hours of gameplay possibly even though there's only gonna be 64 uh, puzzles Still a little little slow, uh, a little too few puzzles in my opinion, just because of a random number thing. I think if you make any puzzle game, you, you have to kind of struggle to make 100 puzzles, even if 40 to 50 of them are really easy. Anyways, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a free friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below thank you for watching have a good evening